to Wyndham. This is moving right through your area right now. Cobalt Skill, you've been seeing thunderstorms for a little while. This is moving east around 30 miles per hour. The severe thunderstorm warning is now in effect over portions of central New York. This is west of Binghamton, south of Geneva. Landfall is not until the center of the eye moves over land. So now we have the strongest winds around the eye wall beginning to push on shore. Obviously, the cold is the big story today. Dangerous wind and cold, so our wind chills are just going to be brutal. The amounts with this storm are going to vary, likely coming in close to six inches around Albany, about six to eight up toward Schenectady, the Mohawk Valley, up toward Saratoga, Glens Falls. Chat is going to be going on paternity leave, too, so it's just... Lara, just be it's girls. just the two of us. <laughs> All right. I can't handle any more babies in this in this building. OK, everyone's <laughs> popping out babies. It's too much. These first, Alyssa, what do you think? I would go shopping, lot yep. of shopping, yep. travel. I would buy a bunch of doodles. Do How many? Oh, How many doodles? Is too oh, many I don't doodles. know. That's too tough to answer. But. <laughs> So let me show you what's on the radar. These storms have been producing a lot of lightning, but as they move into more stable air across our area, they are weakening. And notice now we're not seeing quite as much lightning any longer. So zooming in here, moving south and east, so headed toward the Hudson Valley. Windham, you've got some thunderstorms at this hour uh, down through far western Ulster County and random lightning here popping up across the Catskills, raining for Jefferson, Cobleskill, Davenport, Delhi, taking you a little further north. Now we're in the Mohawk Valley, Gloversville now seeing some thunder and lightning, Mohawk as well, uh, route all moving south and east, so headed toward Amsterdam, that camera we just took. Still dry around the immediate capital region and Saratoga up through Lake George, Bolton, all looking at rain. And there's been a little bit of lightning too, but I'm still not seeing as much lightning as we did have earlier. As this all moves east, it will keep breaking up. And this is a look toward 8 o'clock. Still some unsettled weather across the area, some downpours, some thunderstorms, but ending as we head toward 10, 11 o'clock. Then we're dry through midday and most of the afternoon. I think heading toward evening, we will see more thunderstorms flaring up to our west. These will travel into the area this evening for areas north and west of the capital region. You're looking at the best chance for some wet weather again this evening. This will actually weaken as it moves south and east, but we'll probably end up with a little more than this particular model is showing. And then overnight, the wet weather uh, will be over with and we'll see skies becoming partly cloudy. Now, the Storm Prediction Center does expect a good chance for severe weather to our west. So anything that does move in this evening north and west of Albany could possibly be severe as these storms move our way, weakening while doing so. But we may see a few of those cells hold together and trigger some severe thunderstorm warnings. Dew points not bad right now. They'll be going up throughout the day, becoming increasingly humid. Temperatures are mild and in the 60s. It's warmer this morning. Highs will be in the 70s today. Albany 77. Wind picking up throughout the day, becoming windy, and it will be mostly cloudy. Now, tomorrow we'll start on a brighter note with sun, sun and clouds throughout the day. The chance for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm as we move toward late morning and the afternoon. And I think even into the evening tomorrow, this is 7 o'clock, there still might be a shower or thunderstorm around. Tomorrow, it will be humid to start, but dew points will drop through the day, turning more comfortable into the afternoon and evening will trend warmer. And our high tomorrow should be around 83 or so. For Father's Day weekend, it turns much cooler. Humidity is very low both days. 66 now on Saturday. Intervals of sun, breezy as well. Sunday looks mostly sunny. 73 for the high, breezy again. Then it turns warmer heading into next week. Monday, 77. Looks nice. Tuesday, showers and storms. That's the summer solstice back in the 80s. Storm chances continue into Wednesday travel conditions. Yeah, I mean, we were 60 yesterday afternoon and and to get snow sticking to pavement this late in the season right. doesn't happen often, especially following a 60 degree afternoon. Yeah. So yeah, it's quite the sight out there this morning. Snow is uh, covering everything. <laughs> That's crazy. I eight, know. Eight, eight inches. Yeah, there's a lot of spots that picked up eight, nine, ten inches of snow, even up around a foot. I mean, it's wild. This is in Carisle. 
uh, eight inches being reported there. Ben posting this on my Facebook page. Another picture to show you about four to six inches in Johnstown. Dan sending this one in. I mean, there are so many reports this morning of how much snow is out there. A lot of pictures too coming from viewers. Thank you, by the way. So it's super helpful to get your reports during these storms. It helps with verifying how much snow came down and figuring out where the heaviest snow fell and what conditions are like out there. Amsterdam, where snow is falling at this time, it might be a little bit of a mix. Temperatures 33, Fryhofer Skycam Network. Precipitation still widespread, but now that the sun has come up, it's going to be pretty tough in a lot of cases to see additional accumulation, um, especially in valley areas. You know, it is, after all, almost late April, so the sun is much higher in the sky, even though it is cloudy. We did have some lightning being reported on the radar earlier this morning. Still, in most cases, north and west, it is snow, though, that's coming down. Down. A mix in the immediate capital region, though, despite what the radar showing. A little bit of a mix here in the Mohawk Valley, Upper Hudson Valley as well. Precipitation, though, letting up for areas east of Albany and locations far south too. Kingston, not a whole lot going on near you at this time. Southern Catskills seeing that snow letting up as well. This is what we're waking up to this morning. Cherry Valley, 10 and a half inches. Huntersland at nine. Galway, over six inches. Lake Lazurne, five and a half. Four and a half in Amsterdam. Four in Landgrove. Greenville, three and a half. Three in Clifton Park. Two in Spiegeltown. In Caro, Queemans Hollow, a little under two inches. And Glenmont reporting an inch of snow. So to start the day, precipitation widespread. But throughout the morning, it does break up and turn to rain and snow showers heading toward midday and throughout the afternoon. Again, now that the sun has come up, we should see road conditions improving, but I mean, it's still snowy and slushy out there on the roads, even around the capital region. Things improve through the day. Showers do linger, not just through the afternoon, but this evening too. And overnight, probably still going to have some flurries and snow showers around with that activity then dying out by tomorrow morning. So storm totals around a couple of inches in Albany, two to four inches up toward Schenectady and Saratoga up toward Glens Falls. Eastern Mohawk Valley in that two to four inch range, but more like four to even five inches. Four to eight for most areas west of the Hudson though, with some locations up to 12 inches. And you saw some of the snow reports. Yeah, that is being reported this morning in some cases. So portions of the Adirondacks and Catskills really getting hit hard. This is such a heavy, wet, sticky snow. It's bringing down power lines, snapping branches and trees, and that's why we have so many power outages this morning. Amounts much lighter for areas east of Albany where it was not as cold and we didn't end up with as much snow. But yeah, take your time this morning. Temperatures lower to mid 30s at this time with highs in the 40s, high of 46 in Albany. It will turn out to be a windy day, and that could contribute to additional branches and trees snapping and coming down. 53 tomorrow, though, morning flurries with skies becoming sunny. It will be windy, but yeah, we should bounce back to spring with a lot of this winter weather melting pretty quickly through the next couple of days. 60 on Thursday, afternoon rain showers, lower 60s Friday into the weekend, which right now is looking pretty quiet.